Hi, Marty, VK4 Kilo Charlie from Mad Dog Coils. Here again with another new product. Um, back at my local Poda Park Proving Grounds to introduce the MDC or Mad Dog Coils PUP. That's P-U-P, the little pup coil. So this coil uh, just has um, just a small amount of windings on the former, 3D printed former in ASA material, so it's uh, uh, UV tolerant and quite strong. Uh, it's got enough windings there to bring in inductance for the 40 meter band with a 17 foot whip. So let's take a look. As you can see, the pup here is 3D printed. It's got a small amount of windings, just enough to bring enough inductance around about the nine microhenries of inductance for the 17 foot um, long whip. Now to bring in the 40 meter band, we've got an on and off switch here. So on the on position, the coil is in the series and in the off position, the coil is taken out. So everything else is fairly similar to other Mad Dog coils. We've got the BNC feed point. We've got a banana plug socket for the banana plug for the earth slash radial wires, the ground wires. So um, there you have the PUP, the MDC PUP. Very simple product, solid, 3D printed, ASA material, UV resistant, uh, can take the knocks. It's, um, it can certainly handle forces placed on it by a 17 foot whip. It's designed for the 17 foot whip. It's not designed for the SS25. You could use an SS25 on it, uh, but um, uh, would encourage you not to take it up past around about the 18 foot mark. Here's the pup on a ground spike, mounted fairly close to the ground. And as you can see, I've got uh, my one-to-one -one ballon choke very close to the uh, pup there. And I was able to get uh, best WR measured by having my radial wires very close together and just draped out along the grass there. So you can see that uh, that's for 40 meters. And I'll show you the result. That's the result there by having those radials uh, grouped together. 1.16 at 7.09. Now I'm gonna spread out the radials just so that you can see what happens. Okay, so now you can see the various speaker wire radials are, are spread out five of them, they're all around about 4.5 meters each. Let's go and have a look at the SWR now. Okay, you can see the SWR now, not good. Best is one is to 2.3 at 7160. So you can see there that by grouping them together really gave a much better result with regards to SWR reading. So there you go, you just uh, never know with regards to what ground types that you're going to be setting up on. Every situation's a little bit different. In this case, um, I'm not getting a very good SWR with the radial spread out like that, but if I group them all in one direction, I get a really, really good SWR. So each setup type uh, place is a little different. Remembering that that ground spike is totally independent, it's not connected to anything in the coil. Um, so the bottom bolt there that the ground spike is connected to through that adapter nuts is, is, is totally independent. The ground or a counterpoise uh, banana plug socket there is of course connected to the shield uh, of the coax. And then of, uh, the center of the coax uh, is, goes through the coil and is connected to the uh, radiating element. So the pup is now available for purchase at maddogcoils.com.au. 
Thanks very much for watching. This is Marty, VK4 Kilo Charlie.